Good morning, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to try to show you how I cut my own hair. Now, usually I do it when I get out of the shower, but I just washed my hair yesterday, so I'm not going to do that. But just pretend my hair is soaking wet, and then I'm gathering my bangs up at the same time. Now, you know, when you've got natural curly hair like I do, and especially when it's longer, usually we like to have some layers in our hair. Now, doing this would be a lot easier if I could just take my head off of my shoulders. Now, when I was in cosmetology school, and it was run, it was owned by this couple named Art and Virginia. And um, they used to give me all the difficult clients. And the most was a lady who came in, she was an older lady. She was inebriated. Her hair was down to the middle of her back. It was tangled, ratty, filthy. Um, so they called me out of the back. I don't know what I was doing, working on a mannequin or something. And they said, uh, Deborah Joy, we have a client for you. And I said, okay. And I walked out there and I saw this lady kind of slid down in my chair. And, um, Art said, uh, she's a little inebriated. I said, I kind of got that because she's sliding out of the chair. And I said, give me your belt. I'm going to have to strap her in. That was probably the most challenging head of hair I have ever done. But was she happy, y'all? Oh, my gosh. It was clean. It smelled good. It was trimmed. It was beautiful. I had so much fun when I was in cosmetology school. Okay, so what I do is I just... Now, I used to have to have somebody help me when my hair was really long. Or, if I didn't have the patience to wait, I would pull it all up and then I would let it hang forward. And I would whack it off. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm way past a good trim, you guys. So once I cut, can you, can you see how uneven that is? It's crazy. So I'm going to try to even it up. Now, I suggest that you don't do this with dull scissors. And these are, these are not really proper hair cutting scissors. And the ones I had, even a lady that I used to cut her hair, this elderly lady, she bought me an expensive pair, and they lasted me forever. But anyway, shut up, Deb. Just show it. Okay, I'm having to back up so you guys can see this, and I'm going to have to do it by feel because I can't really see it. So I just pull it up. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Maybe a little bit less. And you can see my shorter hairs in the back are falling down. But that's okay. I'm only trying to even it. So I just take my scissors and I start cutting. Now you always have that little piece that's standing up. So you got to work on that a little bit. Whoops. There you go. Now that's not completely straight because I can't really see what I'm doing. And then when you let it fall down, you have some layers that go all the way down. So y'all, um, when I use my pick, I 
And y'all know I wear my hair up all the time. I always have. If I would go to a restaurant and I didn't have my hair up already, I would twist it up, stick a pencil in it. But that's how I do it, you guys. And you can do it with straight hair too. It doesn't matter. But it's a quick and easy way to give yourself a little trim. And it saves you money. And people, a lot of times, don't get shrinkage in natural curly hair. They'll pull it down, and it's really long, and so, whack! And the next thing you know, it shrinks up, way up, because they don't get it. I used to try to find a hairdresser when I went, which was seldom, that understood and had natural curly hair. It reminds me of when I had to have cryo surgery. I had a pap smear and I had precancerous cells. So what they do for that is they stick this rod up inside you and they use what the heck is that called? Anyway, it freezes the tissue on the inside of you. And then for weeks, it thaws and it drains out. Oh, two am I, sorry. But anyway, I asked my doctor, my OBGYN gynecologist, is this going to hurt? And he said, no. He goes, this is not going to hurt at all. After I had that procedure done, I made sure I had a female doctor from now on. How the heck did he know how that was going to feel? Anyway, y'all, just a quick little way. Now, I have this weird thing that I have this strip of hair right down the middle in the back that is not curly so what i do is i try to trim that off a little bit i'm not going to do it today but i trim that off a little bit so that when my hair curls up i don't have that tail in the back and a lot of what you saw me trimming up there was that straight tail but anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Guys, I'm so sorry that these videos are just... Let me just say I appreciate you sticking with me. Because you have no reason to. But I do appreciate it. So anyway, Miss um, Hazel standing back. Ow! I've got so many bruises on me, y'all. And I don't even know where they came from. But uh, that's it. Do something fun today. I don't know what I'm going to do. We're supposed to have some sunshine, but it's overcast out there right now. Love y'all. Do something fun today. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.